Yeah, man, so we came across this video, man. Ask me anything. Uh-oh. From a what? A furry guy. I'm a furry. I'm, I'm a, a furry? A furry. So I'm guessing this furry guy. Furry or furry? Furry, I guess. Oh, yeah. So I'm guessing this guy is, I am guessing he wore a furry costume. That's what And people like. asking him questions and stuff like that. It's so gonna it's going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> it's probably yeah. be funny. Pretty interesting. It's from the channel Jubilee. Yeah. Jubilee. You love this channel. Yeah, I like this channel, man. We've watched a lot of their stuff. Yeah, I watched a lot of this stuff. I, I, I never really watched this. No, I haven't watched it. because they got so either. many different, like, They've got a lot of different, different videos, content. But no, these are yeah, new. Yeah, man. So make sure you go swap to each other. Yeah, check them out. Yeah, but um, we finna get ready to die this bad boy. Furries know how to party. That's all I really got to say. People look at us and they're like, <laughs> oh, what a bunch of losers, you know? They probably just sit inside all day and jerk off the furry porn or yeah, like, what? Look at images of fuzzy animals. Bruh. You know, they don't, they don't know how to get down. Furries know how to party. Probably don't know how to get down. Okay. Oh, my Lord. That was like oh, somebody. <laughs> Some topics are hard to approach. They don't know really what a furry is. <laughs> Either the subjects are Look, inaccessible. Man. I never knew people like yeah. really like yeah. do this type I've of heard stuff. Of this. Furries? I think they do they have furry parties. And they, stuff. What? I've heard of this a little bit. That is crazy, man. Comment yeah. down below. Have you ever been to a furry party? Oh. Have I even heard oh. about it? You know, let us know. Reasons I am better than you at furry. Where people are uncomfortable discussing them. So we found those subjects in person, rented a space in Los Angeles, and invited our audience and strangers to come in and ask them anything. Hi. I'm Bo, and I'm a fursuit maker in the furry Bo. fandom, and I'm here to answer questions about the furry community. Oh, he's a suit maker? Oh, he makes the suits too. Looks like they take a lot of work too. Oh, there was a curtain sorry, in between them. Push. Yeah, yeah, so you can't see them. I couldn't even tell that. Yeah. Man, he got I, scared. I have he said, "A ton of questions, but where did it where did it start? Like, yeah, what, what, how I, that's old I were you? Know. I guess when you found out, like, you looked at Tony the Tiger and you were like, you know what? <laughs> like, where, where did it start? Hey, was it? Tony the Tiger yeah. kind of thick. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh God, I was uh, I think I was like 12. I was just browsing YouTube and I saw a bunch of furries dancing and I was like, dang, I want one of those. And so I made one and it just haven't stopped ever since. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You just made it. You, it wasn't. Like yeah, and now I do it for a living. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, get to the bag, I guess. Bag secured. <laughs> Bag secured. How is it your job? Like, what do you do? Exactly? Yeah, that's what well, I want I make fursuits um, mm. on a commission basis, and sometimes oh, okay. I, I just recently made one to sell, which is the one that I'm holding right now. My only context around what furries are is from, like, a CSI episode. Oh, yeah. There was, yeah, like, a CSI episode about it. I think so. Having kind of like a furry orgy. Yeah. And what? Was, yeah. And then one of them gets hit by a car. But... <laughs> It's kind of negative and it's strictly sexual. So I guess my first question is, is being a furry strictly a sexual thing? Absolutely not. That is by far the most annoying misconception mm. that everyone always say, is it a sexual, is it a kink, is it a fetish? Sexual. Sexual fetish. Fetish. Mm -hmm. No, but of course there are people who are in it and do that stuff and that's perfectly fine. People can do whatever they want. People Dang, can enjoy so themselves. people that be going to like, uh... Yeah. <laughs> furry orgy parties. That's what I was saying. <laughs> furry parties. Yeah, that's like, man. You know, to each his own. Right? Well, power to him. I'm, it's kind of like, it comes off like furious, like, like nerdy. Like. Yeah, I almost wonder if it's like, I'm not saying that that's the case of this kid. It's not wrong with being nerdy. I wonder if it's like, you, know? you aren't as comfortable in your own skin, so like you kind of be more yourself when you're in like a costume yeah, kind of thing. It could be. I, I, I kind of wonder how much he make off those suits, man. Because I'm sure I it takes a lot it, of work to make those say, suits. It seems like it take a lot of work to make one. Of a couple those. hundred dollars, like three, four hundred dollars. He said, "Well, I don't know how. If I, I don't yeah. know how much the material costs right. to like and buy I all think this it's stuff." It's probably cheap to make. And it look like it takes a, a while to make all this yeah. stuff too. <laughs> I think so. But on a base level, it's just about art. It's just about costumes, and it's just about being yourself. What would you say is like the worst criticism I'll say that you've probably gotten for like yeah. your hobby? The most irking thing is when people just kind of disregard all of the creative individuals and talented individuals that make this art, make these costumes and make everything and just kind of chalk it up to all being a sexual thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, it, it's really unfair to say that it's a sexual thing in its entirety, but unfortunately that's how it gets portrayed very often in the media. Um, how does your family feel about you being a furry? My family is very supportive. That's um, up. They've taken me to the conventions. Okay. They were actually the ones <laughs> that started making yeah. costumes as a young child. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, that their pretty I mean, much those bad boys are enabled hot me in to get into it world. and to continue doing this. Love that. Okay. Is it mostly just like a form of like creative expression, um, or anything. is there yeah. something deeper going on, like with your interest in? in the I costumes? think it's probably on lines of both because it, as much as it is an amazing way to express yourself, people who have issues with mental health find particular comfort in the furry fandom yeah. because it's a little bit more, just something's very appealing to it, like the bright colors, the soft fabrics, it's just, mm -hmm. it's comforting. I've mm, kind of come out of my shell a little bit in different aspects and have gained confidence in myself through doing this. You can be yourself without having people look at your face and judging you. Some people are really self-conscious. Nice. Some people can be are. More yeah. Because you feel more comfortable in a costume. Yeah, it could be, man. Some people like to like hide behind masks. You know what I'm saying? It's just easier to open up. Yeah, it is. Like, you don't feel like it's vulnerable because yeah, you're not exposed. Yeah, they don't feel like they're being judged and stuff right. like that because mm -hmm. you you pretty much just judging the costume. It's true because we about all, it. whether we mean to or not, we all judge everybody by their looks. Like, yeah, we, we do. To some extent, we all do it. Yeah. So it's like if you take that element away. Yeah. Then you've already. Yeah, you, you can know. goof off, do whatever you want, yeah. be goofy and all that different type of stuff. I'm mean, sure it could be fun. Yeah, man. <laughs> and look at this costume and all the other fairies. It's, it's like really bright cool. colors and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they're like bright that. colors and really intricate. If you yeah. Got it. Creative. Who knows? You know, they could be going through some stuff. It just, it really, it's so different for every single person, but I feel like a lot of people do just feel really comfortable putting on a costume and expressing themselves and performing, especially in a costume, because maybe they want to perform and they don't feel like they can do so unless they're covering themselves. Yeah, yeah. So I know there's different types of, from what I know, furries. There's like the spiritual aspect and there's also the cosplay aspect. What's the spiritual so aspect? I just want to hear like, what's the main difference and what do you think about both of those different types? Just in your opinion. I would say that the, those are not the two types, oh, <laughs> for one. okay. And I would also say that there are many types, uh -huh. a lot of which, like, it would we would be here all day talking about it. Okay, it's, okay. It's, it's, it's based on such it's a loose lore. concept. I mean, basically, all being a furry means is uh -huh. being into anthropomorphic animals, which is animals yeah. with human traits. Mm -hmm. um, the spiritual mm -hmm. side isn't really, yeah. that wouldn't be considered a furry, that would be considered something completely else, which is an other kin or ethereal. Okay. And sometimes other kins oh, and ethereans are furries, but they're. Someone who defies a non human species. species. Identity? That's what they really feel like in spirit, I guess? Yeah, other kin, that makes sense. So he's saying spiritually that people think that they're a non human species. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Not the same thing, so. Uh, I feel like that's a misconception that some people on the outside have. For you to make it, I know there's like a lot of profit to be made. Does oh, anybody yeah. see you as like a predator for the furry community or like they, a predator? Like capitalist, a furry capitalist. Furry capitalism. Furry capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> make a lot of money. Furries rise up. No, um, I would say that it is a, a community that has a very large like provider, like business, and then consumer basis. It really is like people are here to make money. People are here to spend money. But at the same time, that's not really what it's about. It's more so just, it's fun, but there's definitely money involved for a lot of people. Okay. So I'm guessing since you started off kind of young uh, in the community, there are, you know, young, younger people as well in the furry community. What is it like for them, I guess, going through the different phases of the, mm -hmm. the furry community? I feel like everyone who starts being a furry from a very young age has like sort of this uh, like uh, cringe phase where cringe. they just don't know how to interact with people. They're socially yeah. awkward. Like I, mm -hmm. I'm still very social, socially awkward, but I've kind of come out of my shell a little bit and learned how to not be annoying online. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much all I'd have to say for young furries is be yourself, be kind, don't steal art. It was definitely so insightful. Don't steal art, don't talk plagiarize art. A little more art. about this. Thank you for your time. No problem. It's nice talking to you too. I commend you because you know it takes it takes a lot of uh, bravery and uh, courage to be able to express yourself mm -hmm. yeah. in a way like that. Yeah, and the money helps. <laughs> the money helps. <laughs>
yeah, he must make some good money, yeah. Young artists, a lot of just young people in general, old people, no matter who you are, to express, to create, to better their craft, to build costumes, to draw, to animate, to dance. Dang. Oh, dang, it just yeah. inspires people to do all these different things that they normally wouldn't do, like make music. They're a bunch of furry DJs. Every Fury single DJs, medium okay. of art imaginable so cool. is in this fandom, and that's part of why it's so great. No one should feel shame for being a furry, even if you don't make anything, even if you just wear a costume and just enjoy it. You can do whatever you want and be happy, and people should respect that. Pretty interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. I, yeah. I, I totally get it. Like, I understand where they're coming from. Yeah, I mean, I kind of wonder if a lot of them are socially awkward. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I think you hit both tables there, really. I mean, I think you have a lot of people who are probably a little more introverted and also, yeah. really, and also socially awkward. Yeah. And you may have some people that completely aren't, but are just yeah. so creative and like to express that creative creativity. Yeah. And this yeah. is just one form of doing it. And I kind of wonder how big that community are in, in America. Is, I bet it, it's a it, lot bigger than either of us would think. Or is it, or is it just like that in America? I kind of wonder how other countries, like I the UK, everywhere. At this point, you know, I would say it's you know, everywhere. Yeah. You, think it's, you think it's everywhere? I mean, I'm not going to say like, every country in the world but i bet you find it around the world yeah you know but yeah I mean? this is definitely pretty cool man it was interesting <laughs> eye opening know. i like and it and then i know they do like orgy parties i mean yeah but then he even said that's kind of a big misconception yes yeah, misconception so it's not but really just that i'm just saying like just something do you do it actually crazy. with the costume on i mean like it's just i don't kind of, know it's, any it's details yeah. on that level. but i don't know I'm just yeah man this it. It was definitely pretty cool man it was I, super interesting. I never knew it was like a big community of fear yeah well so yeah. you always learn something new. Yeah, man. But we <laughs> definitely, definitely enjoyed this, mm -hmm. man. Uh, we really hope you enjoyed our reaction. Comment down below. Let us know which ones we're actually next. Yeah. But we're going to end this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And thumbs it up. Turn on notifications. It's your memory of me. And Nicole. We're going to catch you on the next one. Peace and love.